Hello, welcome back to Bento Sushi Live Noding. So in this episode, I'm going to share with you um, kind of like a procedural setup. Um, and I'm using SpareTalk to do this. It's a, I think, kind of like semi-procedural because uh, we kind of switching back and forth between Blender modifier and then actually back to SpareTalk. But 80% of the job is actually inside a um, SpareTalk add-on. Um, so Bamboo is kind of very interesting um, um, kind of a problem. Um, it's actually rather pretty simple. Uh, if you look at this, this is actually a um, skin modifier underneath. And what's going on inside? Uh, and there are actually like three different objects at the moment that's kind of uh, changing and creating all these variations uh, to create this kind of bamboo uh, bamboo structure so let's see what's uh, actually going on i'll give a quick breakdown so first of all this is the first um surface and this guy is actually being generated using simply just uh line nodes so line nodes is kind of um, growing in the z axis and then what's happening here the next thing I did is to use a split edges. Split edges node is actually pretty new. Uh, you probably can easily overlook this guy, but this guy actually generate um, a split um, for every edges. So if we have like a kind of like a line like this, the split edges can quickly create a split for every line, and by doing that, uh, we can kind of create. Um, some kind of a join if you imagine uh, like uh, your finger or the part where your your bones meet another bones uh, you, normally you have some kind of a bump that's for the join and that's kind of the thing we are creating here um, using split edges this will actually have effects on the skin measure and um, that's actually kind of a Maybe it was, I think, accidental, but it works really well for what we are doing. So um, I'll show you really, really quickly. Um, so I have this uh, here, a little bit of a um, kind of like a sphere choke uh, magic happening here. The setup basically after I split, after I split the line, we actually can control um, this part between between the point of the line. Um, this is actually kind of like the benefit of using skin modifier and then kind of splitting splitting at the joints. And yeah, so this part may be a little bit complicated, but basically for every every split um, for every point it's splitting. I'm changing the, the radius of the skin modifier and the rest of them really just use uh, this single value. Okay, so the, the pattern actually looking something like this. See, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and then all the way, and the last one is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is actually for the radius of the bamboo itself. So we can have control over that. And so, okay, that's the first part of the bamboo. And we get this alpha mesh, which is this guy, alpha.000. And the next thing I did, because this, uh, the skin measure of spare chalk is kind of using um, Blender skin modifier and subsurface uh, modifier. So this guy, we should um, keep it like this. We, we cannot add the we shouldn't add like things like a curve modifier here because currently the bamboo is kind of too straight. So I want it to be more like this, more natural. So what I did here actually, I grabbed this guy, bring it back into spare chalk, and this is bec becoming like a intermediate, like a intermediate process. This thing grabs the alpha and then output another B mesh, kind of like um, baking it on the way. So it's, so epsilon, epsilon is really just the the mid surface, which is uh, become the final surface after we we use a curve modifier on the epsilon, 
and there is a there is a gamma object which is like a curve objects here this guy right here which is uh, kind of being generated on the fly as well and here I can kind of control also the radius using a uh, curve because the curve modifier is working on the on this epsilon epsilon surface and we can also do the twisting but we don't need to do that and we as a result really there's a so there's a curve objects underneath this guy that's kind of bending bending the bamboo so it's it has more natural um, more natural structure so and for every frame actually I'm changing the number of line some of this bamboo is a bit taller some less taller in, in a I think the real bamboo actually kind of also curving a little bit so if you want this to be a little bit more natural this this thing is also need to be bending a little bit maybe we can use particle hair and particle instancer to do that so that part maybe I'll leave it to you but this is what we have at the moment so for every generated bamboo we can save it as an as a blend file like a or you can just select this object select the epsilon and then duplicate it and actually apply the modifier and then put it aside and then change to different frame duplicate the epsilon once again apply so you, you do this a couple of times select the select the epsilon duplicate it shift D apply modifier change another frame keep doing this until you have enough um, bamboo object so once you have enough bamboo objects you can really just use a particle instancer I guess just group this guy and just use a particle instancer I think you need I think 32 or even like 64 different bamboo and your eyes cannot tell the difference anyway you can rotate this bamboo and then it's already looking pretty uh, realistic um, all this thing needs is probably um, some kind of uh, shader that's generate like a bamboo so that's actually another details and that really makes the look of the bamboo um, I'm not sure with this guy really if the UV will work um, I think the UV can work as a cylinder or something that's kind of moving in that direction that's possible maybe we it's better if this is like a a curve object maybe we can probably do that um, but for now this is just a polygon of polygon objects and yeah so this guy is the generator um, really you can tweak this as you heart content uh, you can change the number of bamboo, make it like really tall, perhaps, and then just make variation of it. Um, if you want it to be like a little bit longer, you can do that as well here. So some bamboo can have like really long uh, this part between. But the the nice thing about this is really the the detail in between uh, the line. So thanks to uh, split edges, really split edges did the work here. Because uh, see, if I'm actually go to this guy and then changing the the split, we can really control uh, the join and make it like really thick or thin like that. It's really nice actually. It will work as a um, kind of like a bone as well. So maybe we can use this setup again in the future to create a uh, kind of like a join and bones uh, system you know like fingers and the body part and you can make creatures that way uh, very quickly so yeah so this is how you can generate um, procedural bamboo using spread add-on in blender thanks again for tuning in i'll see you in the next video thank you bye